Hey folks, Tack Nerd is here, and yeah, that's right, again, it's it's Nerd Day here on the Tack Nerd 1.0 channel. What do we got here? We got cheap magic cards. Amazing. Yeah, even the dollar store. You can get everything there under the fucking sun, including magic cards. That's right. These are $1 repacks get 10 cards per pack and yes they are a dollar so what am I doing with these well we're gonna have a draft me and my son we're gonna go on a little camping trip tomorrow we're gonna be playing a little card so I thought we'll have a little dollar store draft that's what I'm gonna entitle this so normally you'd use three packs for a draft uh, I think we're gonna use five each and at 10 apiece, that's going to give us 50 cards to choose from. Um, obviously, we're not going to use all of them, but uh, that'll give us a good uh, a good amount to pick from because these are going to be really, really random. Not just like regular suck random. These are going to be super suck random. So uh, the chance of getting anything even mediocrely good and uh, that works together is going to be near to impossible. Uh, it's going to be a true test of strength. So if you are a man of great testicular fortitude, get your ass down to the uh, dollar store, get some of these, and uh, do a little dollar store draft with some friends. See who really has the uh, mystical cojones. And uh, so what are you, you're probably asking yourself, what are you going to use for, for land? Well, I've got a bunch of these little packs of land that I have from various fat packs that I've bought. Now, if you're asking yourself, hey, there's a big chance. Maybe, just maybe, maybe I'll get that rare. I'll get that rare card, that one card, one out of a gazillion packs. They're going to put that alpha or beta mox in there. One out of a million packs, they're going to put it in, right? No, of course they're not going to do that. They're crap cards. None of them are going to be any good. If you get any rares out of these, they're going to be dollar rares at best. Not Probably not even that. Obviously, since the whole pack, they're only charging a buck for. And you know some rares are as bad as common. So if you get any, they're going to be that bad. So don't expect anything. You're not going to get anything great. It's just something fun. Hey, folks. Back dialed into the Tech Nerd. 1.0 and this is the results of the dollar store draft uh, i couldn't get any footage of my son and i playing not enough light in uh in the tent uh, but we did play a couple games it was fun this was his first time doing a draft so uh he he did not really choose wisely but then again <laughs> he's seven so, uh, but I did teach him some of the ropes for, um, for drafting, at least for, for what I know. And, uh, we did okay. We kind of had, uh, we, we had some fun, but, uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what my deck ended up being and some of what you can expect, um, do, doing a draft with these dollar store cards. So the one thing I did notice is that, uh, in these, uh, I got a lot of current type stuff. Uh, you can see there, and this is almost all from fairly current sets. Uh, this is M14 and stuff from um, stuff from Theros and and uh, and it's uh, some of its expansions. So a lot of this stuff is all was all fairly current. Now I noticed in some of the other packs that I had bought previously. It was really a mixture of everything from, geez, probably revised up until um, up until current stuff. It seems what goes on with these dollar store packs is whatever whatever the box of stuff that they get in will all be kind of one particular theme as far as what's in it. Uh, and again, that could be anything from uh, from uh, old stuff to current or it could be maybe new stuff um, maybe they've ran through all their old stuff at this point 
and they're just doing current type cards now. I don't so really I just know. went with something simple. I tried to stay with white and uh, fairly small creatures, and uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get anything that was any more expensive than probably two mana. These cavalry pegasi, I ended up getting. There was actually more than four in the packs, uh, but I, you know, I only took four of them, and this ended up kind of being the mainstay of my force uh, because not only was it flying and one one and it was cheap uh, it also lets any attacking human also fly until the end of the turn so I also tried to pick as many humans as I could and I ended up getting one two three four five five other humans uh, that I was able to pick now I only I took uh, I was trying for white and red, um, but I also mixed in a little bit of black uh, where I could. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go through every single card. These ended up working out pretty well, too. They were cheap. They're artifact creatures. Uh, and, you know, they're e obviously they're easy to bring out in this type of format because you can use any, kind, any type of mana for them. And I took this sliver construct just for the same kind of reason. Um, and then this thing, this thing helped me once, um, I was, I was, it's fairly, fairly easy to get out, uh, and it, and it did pretty well when it first comes out. It's, it's a 4-4 four, four creature and it has haste, so, um, good creature to get out on, uh, on turn four, uh, three or four, if you can, if you can get it there. And, um, also, these, some of these humans had... Uh, what is the uh, oh the heroic power um, gives them gives them an extra boost uh, whenever you put a an enchantment on them so I tried to get a few enchantments here uh, fair amount of instants there's a couple enchantments I got and I tried to get some red I ended up getting some of these I didn't really want to use them um, but I I just used them for the enchantment is all to get the special power um, out of the human cards um, and then some other stuff this shock I was hoping I'd get another one of those but I didn't uh, didn't end up using it anyways so basically what we did is uh, you know it's we did 60 card decks um, I told him just to take out 10 that he didn't want to use from the 50 that we got because we, we each drafted 50 cards uh, I had him take out 50, and that can function as kind of a sideboard, although we did not use it because he's 7. So I had him just take out 10 that he didn't want. We built the deck with um, basically 40 cards, and then we put in we each put in 20 mana, and that was pretty simple. Obviously, you can mix it up however you want, but uh, that seemed to work uh, pretty well for us. So, uh, and again, this was a learning experience for a little kid just getting into the game. So, anyways, uh, again, just a little cheap fun that you can have. And uh, so get out there and try your own dollar store draft. Stay tuned, folks. More videos coming up. And remember, you are at the Tech Nerd channel. Uh, give us a like and thumbs up if you could. And catch you next time. Bye.